now this whole past week we've been focusing on Trayvon and and the George Zimmerman trial and the media kept asking over and over again well what would have happened if Trayvon was white would the same thing would have happened well you know what the the mainstream media failed to remind you that that exact scenario did actually happen a few years ago when a black neighborhood watchman shot an unarmed white teen it's the black George Zimmerman the media doesn't want you to know about in April of 2009, Mr. Roderick Scott awoke at 3 a.m. to the sounds of three young men breaking into cars on his street. He called the police and went down the street to make sure the young men didn't flee before the police arrived. He shouted at them to freeze and told them that the police were coming soon. But that's when 17-year-old Christopher Servini rushed at Mr. Scott, uttering, I'll get you or I'll get him. Now, Scott fired twice, killing the teenager. Now, the trial that followed was, again, a case of prosecutorial overreach as they tried to charge Mr. Scott with manslaughter. Fortunately for him, a jury of his peers agreed with him that he did only what was needed to protect himself. Now, afterward, the prosecutor opined, I just hope it's not a message to this community that you have the right to shoot an unarmed 17-year-old kid for breaking into a car. Now, the problem with that is that Mr. Scott did not shoot young Christopher Servini for breaking into his car, but for attacking him. Now, there was no white uproar about the killing of a young white man by the hands of a black man with a hero complex. Al Sharpton and the NAACP and the Department, the Justice Department didn't show up to a rally. The trial was just treated as a tragic situation that a young man brought on himself by turning to violence. Now, the media picks and chooses what stories are going to make national headlines based on whatever the government's agenda is of the day. So George Zimmerman killing one boy was huge. We covered that for a year. But it's not a big deal that at least 400 people, including a chief of police, have been killed by the guns that were supplied during Fast and Furious.